just looking at some of your expense claims and, and your uh, interaction within the chamber uh, that we know about that's been noted. Uh, you haven't spoken in the House of Lords since the 11th of April 2016. That's a year and five months ago. Um, is there any reason why you don't feel like you need to be speaking and yet at the same time you can claim these expenses? Yeah, firstly, the contribution that especially a crossbench peer where I'm not influenced by political parties, I've never belonged to one in my life, and the things that you can do in the Lords, the meetings you can have, the influence you can have, the way that you can actually be amongst the Lords, and I believe this very strongly, that the Lords should be the non-executive director of the country, really, that we advise, we revise, we kick up a stink. What we should never do is overrule the Commons. They have the democratic mandate, we don't. But we're there to bring our expertise. Now, part of that is if you speak in a debate, if you vote, but a lot of it is stuff that you would never, ever see in the chamber itself. And one thing I will not do is I will not waste your time, my time, anybody else's time parrot fashing, in it fashioning in a debate where you can get 10, 20, 30 peers and one after the other, they stand up and say the same thing. Why? Because they're either Tory or Labour or Liberal and what they do is their whips and their offices have given them the stuff to read. Now, that's not always the case, but there is quite a lot of that. And what happens in that, of course, is that the debate goes on and on. Mm. I'm not going to just follow that. Okay. And, and at the so end of the day, when I have a contribution, I will make it. But it's okay. not just, do not judge participation in the House of Lords just by standing up and saying something in a debate. OK, uh, but, you know, so pointless speeches is not something anybody wants. But just looking at the other things you do, you haven't sat on any select committees, you haven't asked any written questions, and you've only voted seven times. Now, there might be other things you do, but these are eye-watering amounts of money, aren't they, for most people that you're claiming in expenses? £12,000 for 2016. 12, it's not, yes, it's not... Rem um, so remember I this. Think why do you still feel that you're giving value for money? The, the, remember that this is not pay. This is an allowance. What this is, is that I get no, you get, if you're crossbench peer, if you're independent, you get no support on your research, you get no support in terms of secretarial or subsistence, meals or anything else, and it's to, it's to defray that expense. So, it's not pay. This is not mm. money that I am paid in return for doing something. It, well, so please do not think. No, no, no. But Lord anybody Jones... watching this, you know, it's going to be the easiest thing in the world for people to say, oh, this is money they're getting for doing something. It is not. Mm. Okay. It is an allowance you are given to ensure that you can actually get there and do things. Let's so be, let's, okay. I, am, I yeah. agree with you. Lord Jones, these are have ways in which you can test this, but it's not the only way. Okay. I think what he's talking about is scandalous. And how he has the nerve to come on and tell us all that when he isn't there. He keeps saying that, oh, there's very important things going on there, but he hasn't been there. So how does he know? I'm a working peer. I'm there most days of the week when the House is sitting. We've sat for four, uh, eight days in total in September. I've been there for seven. One day I missed because I had a hospital appointment. I have four or five speeches. I don't get my speeches written for me. But Lord, Jones, well, but Lord Jones has said you don't have to be necessarily in the House and in the Chamber to be having an impact and working within the community where he is. He can equally have an impact as a, as a, as a, as a peer. Well, look, he doesn't take the Lords seriously. Why should we take his views seriously? He's not there. I just think it's extraordinary that we've allowed this situation... Do you, do you situation take the Lords seriously, you're, Lord Dibby Jones? You are, ba you, are, you are basing that on a false premise. I am there. I am there a lot. Otherwise, with great respect, if I wasn't there, I wouldn't be claiming this money, would I? So I am there. I'm in the chamber. I listen to debates. I inform myself. I learn from these clever people there. Just because I don't stand up and open my mouth in a speech, in a debate, doesn't mean I'm not there. So please do not say that. That's a fair point, isn't it? Well, I haven't seen him there the whole of this month. But it may be he has been there. If he has, he's been I haven't invisible. seen you there either. Well, I've spoken four or five times in this month. So if he wasn't there, he says... Are you a bit upset Lord Jones didn't come and watch? No, I think it's what's so extraordinary is he's expressing all his if views about how... If you're looking for an audience, I suggest you go to your party conference. I 
I don't know what that's got to do with the same subject at all. Uh, I, I am there actively and usually for a full day's work. Mm. Now, OK, mm. I think people watching this programme will think, what's the point of the Lords if they're not going to actually do the job? Which I is, suppose he's that, saying that contributions could be made in all sorts of ways. One of the reasons why we have the House of Lords is that we want to have a bigger variety of people represented there who come from different walks of life in a way that perhaps sometimes we might feel the Commons isn't, that there are a lot of career politicians there and people contribute in different ways don't they what's wrong with that well I've been working for a very long time to reform the Lords not because the quality of the people and what we do there is so bad but because we're not representative if you have a legislature that is representing <laughs> and trying to do something serious for the country, the very least we should do is represent the people we're there for. And that's what I think is the big well, problem uh, about uh, the Lords. Not Lords, about what the work we do there, the but Lords, the fact we're not taking you, seriously because we're not representing the country. Your response, Lord Jones? If you look at the Lords, you will see, sp you see sports people there, you see business people there, you see people from culture, people from the environment, trade unionists. You have an enormous cross-section of people. It is representative of the country. The problem is it's being stuffed full by people who are working and see it as a job full-time, do not expose themselves to the outside world, do not learn about everything from a but hospital to a business and back again and think they're doing the job because they take a speech and parrot fashion it Lord, out. Lord to me, that is not what the Lord's function is.